morning from the desert. It's a good day to be working. I want to give you a little bit of encouragement. If you're out making stuff happen, figuring stuff out, uh, if you're an entrepreneur, maybe you work for somebody else. If you get up early before the sun gets up, be proud of that. If you go work all day in the sweat and the sun, getting low on electrolytes, having to recharge constantly, pay attention more probably than most, be proud of that. You're working harder than most people ever will learn about. <laughs> and you should be proud of that. If you provide for your family or yourself, be proud of that. I heard Lewis, uh, I, I saw something that Lewis posted on social media recently. He said, uh, success is not owned, it's rented, and the rent is due every day. And I think about that, um, we're, we're one of the few entrepreneurs in our neighborhood, and I, I just see, I see how people operate and how they act, and I'm so excited to be a business owner. I'm so proud to um, go push something forward today to make my community a better place, and a lot of people do that that are not business owners too, but it's just different when you own it. Um, you get to call the shots differently than if you were working for somebody else. You can spend more time with your customers, whereas if you're working for a big franchise, you probably don't get that opportunity. Um, so yeah, it's it's good. I just wanna encourage you, uh, it's a little Uncle Garrett talk. We got some junk removal to do today though. We're gonna head out a um, couple jobs this morning and I'm sure some more stuff will show up this afternoon. Welcome to Carefree Highway. We had some rain in the desert last night nice to get and do our first job just getting parked for our first stop of the day I'm gonna pick up all this brush here that uh, the homeowner was trimming up you can see the big pile there big pile there oh not too big of piles but I'm gonna clean that up and then head around back we got uh some more stuff to get in the backyard all right first part of the job is done that brush pile is gone and that brush pile is gone. Take a look at the trailer. <laughs> Started with a load already in there, so just filled it up with brush and everything else will go on top. Now well, this is our next order of business. It's a little dishwasher. Guess it's seen better days and time for it to go in the trailer. And we're gonna back on through the gate and hit up the backyard. Clean that up too. Dishwasher disappeared. <laughs> Gave a little heave ho over the side of the trailer. In it goes. Tight back and through here. But I wanted to get it done because of the amount of steps that I have to take going back and forth from the back of the property all the way to the front yard. So I was thinking skinny thoughts fitting through there and it just goes slow and it worked. I'm gonna take all this stuff, this lumber, pallet, table, that goes. All this debris back here needs to go. All these screens hoses, AC units. I'll recycle those before I go to the dump. I think there's some lizards playing around in here. I can hear them. Hopefully no rats. All this uh, bags, lumber, fiberglass roofing, screens. Um, this is kind of a, kind of a ranch property. Uh, all kinds of cool animals and stuff here. I'm gonna get the brush first and then start working my way back towards the front put all this heavy stuff on and uh hope it compresses nice animals are having a good time in here bunch of birds alpacas and all kinds of cool stuff out here it's great well, that brush pile on the back's gone my third brush pile i've removed so far trailer doors are closed i got the air conditioning units loaded up this metal and these gates will go on top just working on this area now. I'm gonna get all this brush out of here next. And put the heavy stuff on top and kind of smash it down. The items, the table, the pallet, and that wooden um, box are all loaded up. So that's how it's looking so far. At this very moment, I'm in the shade, but we got some rain last night. Humidity is higher than normal. I know I have nothing to complain about compared to people that live in the south or even the east, but not used to it. Dripping sweat. Drip and sweat. It's good to be working. All the brush is out of there. It's emptied out now. All the debris that was right here is emptied out. 
and I'm gonna back the trailer up to right at my, by my steps and finish loading. Save some time, save some energy. So how do you know when your trailer's full? <laughs> well, it looked full earlier with all that brush in it. And I've added so much more. Still more to put in it. Should we place the beds on if I'm gonna find a pack rat under here or not? It might be a nest, we'll see. That's right. Pack rat just came running out of here. Over in these bushes. Uh, he's gonna hide from us. Suppose that's probably better. <laughs> we'll leave it alone. People seem to like seeing dead critters and all sorts of things, and there's a little dead bird, which is a little strange and over here you got a dead rat not sure how those died but i'm gonna finish cleaning up this lumber this is the last item hauling off of this property today really a solid steel shelf everything else has been cleaned up well, that's a wrap on this job that trailer's full once again the eight foot bed saves the day I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna get it tarped and strapped and head out, get unloaded at the metal yard. We got more work to do. Looks like I actually did some work. That feels good. Can't imagine sitting at home being bored. I've got an opportunity to go earn some, some income and help out a friend. Make a new friend too. All right, got the uh, shelf unloaded. These five AC units will get recycled. Just a much better setup doing that here than at the dump. Get rid of that shelf too. Time to get the bungee cords on and go unload the trailer at the dump. Make all the difference. Especially if you soak with water, it keeps your neck cool. Just feels good. This load is 2,500 pounds. <laughs> Time to get it dumped and head out to do some more work. at the dump I'm driving to my next job it's hot right it's summertime what is it mid to late July and uh, I go past this reader board out outside of a public school or a private school and it says 109 degrees sometimes it's better to know what the temperature is other times you just know it's hot you don't really necessarily want to know how hot um, I guess it helps you plan for electrolytes and shade and taking breaks and this and that, but driving past that and seeing that it's 109, not like a super exciting fact to know right now. <laughs> As I'm headed out to two more jobs out in the sunshine, it should be good. It's a section of land that's a uh, state trust land. A lot of acres. Welcome to Desert Hills, Arizona. In that freezer. This pile here, that TV, and all this brush. Gonna make that fit in the trailer one way or another. Uh, that's the plan at least. I haven't started on this pile yet, but I did get the freezer in. And got the front quarter of the trailer with brush right now. Working on this big old pile. It's, uh, it's mostly dry, so you can just pick it up in big chunks. I think it's called grubbing your property when you come through with a tractor and rip out a bunch of shrubs, trees, small small bushes, things like that. So that's what all this is. Time to clean it up. It's hot. Taking a break in the shade. Let me show you what I finished. All that brush is over the top of the trailer. I got all the big pile of junk in that freezer. That messy pile's left. I think it'll fit. right out in the sun right now I'm hot gotta rest for a minute this is what I got left and uh I could probably fit it if I force it we'll see I might have to just come back for a small trip 
we'll see how far I can get with this first load. It's pretty full already. Okay. I just had this loose stuff to come back and get. It's not too much. The trailer is good and full. Got some straps on it. I'm not going too far to the dump, so let's go unload this, cool off for a minute, come back and finish that up. I could probably force that stuff to fit in the trailer. Problem is I'll have to spend way more time out in the sun, out in the heat, just to force that extra 10%. It's not worth it. We'll go cool off for an hour or so and come back after the trailer's totally empty and uh, throw that stuff in with ease. So it'll just be a safer plan. It's not worth getting heat stroke well, over. That load was a cool 1,140 pounds. So a light load, all those tree branches are just so darn bulky. Uh, I fill, I filled up, so we're gonna unload it and head back for the rest. Back from the dump, I just drove past that same reader board. Now it's 113 degrees, so just a good reminder to be more hydrated. I just picked up another two liters of cold water, got that in my thermos, and two coconut waters too. So cooling off, getting refueled. You can see my sweat lines on my shirt; they're crusty white. So I'll need to replenish some of those minerals and salts and all that before work tomorrow. <laughs> Good old sweating. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you work hard for your family and you earn a living by sweating, be proud of what you do. Let's go finish this brush job. And after that, we should have one more small pickup at the end of the day. So it's been a good day all together. So the last bit of it, I'm gonna get it all cleaned up and raked out. Much easier loading in an empty trailer. Stuff over here. Let me show you the final product. The trailer's got a little bit in it. Used to be a big pile of brush here and trash and junk and a freezer and all sorts of stuff. So it's all hauled away. Another happy customer served by around town junk removal. I'm so relieved to be done with that last job. Just being out in the sun, getting baked. If I had a helper, Today, that job would have gone a lot quicker, not in the sun so much, but getting to my last job of the day right now, it's three o'clock, and it's a small job, just some wooden poles that are rotted, I guess. So I'm gonna haul those away, head home, and get cooled off. It's been a good day. All right, got to my next job. All these logs need to get out of here. The tile stacked in there, and the tile stacked right there. And I'm taking broken pallets, this one and the one in the front and then there's uh, some rolls of wire over there i'm gonna get removed here we go dripping sweat again feels good Biggest these logs are heavy uh, three or four packages of that tile a couple more logs smaller ones though a little bit they don't drag well so i'm flipping them over that bale of wire was fun to roll in there okay all that's left few broken pallets. Then we're gonna call it a day. All right, our last dump of the day. We get this unloaded tonight. I got an empty trailer for the start of the day tomorrow. We got an early job out in North Scottsdale. A couple jobs out that direction. So I'm gonna be ready for them. Well, today was a great day. 10 hours outside working. Can't beat that. Providing for my family, working hard, making friends. Doing a good service in the community. The reviews that our customers are writing about us are incredibly positive. We're very, very thankful to have this business. Thanks for watching our video today. Thanks for checking us out. Uh, definitely trying to create some content that's interesting, uplifting, encouraging. Just sharing what we do. Y'all take care.